Hi everyone, welcome to the third part of Crochet Unicorn Pajamas Bag. And I would like to show you just other pattern of the body. And I'm going to count 22 for this unicorn. And it's pretty easy. You will follow the pattern of lion and rabbit pajamas bag. And I will put the links for lion and rabbit pajamas back below. So now you have to join it and make a circle. And for this pattern, you have to uh, turn every following loop like this. And pull the following loop on the working tail through and repeat it again. Just always turn every loop by the same way, so it has to be always to the right or to the left. In this case, it's to the left. And continue as follows to the required length. If you will have any questions, just write me here below the video and I will help you with pleasure. Okay, now let's make the extremities of unicorn start with magic ring and then chain one and this chain you have to count as single crochet because we are going to make single crochets into the magic ring and make six single crochets into the magic ring Tighten the magic ring and join the round with a slip stitch. And you can count from right side and you have to make a slip stitch in the sixth stitch. From the left side it's the first stitch. Make a slip stitch in the stitch, first stitch not in chain. Okay, now we are going to work in a round, so use stitch marker and now we have to increase every stitch around. So make two single crochets in every stitch around. In the next round we have to increase every second stitch around. So I'm going to increase the first stitch, make two single crochets in the first stitch and in the next stitch just one single crochet. Now two single crochets and continue working like this all the way around. In next round we have to increase every third stitch. So two single crochets in the first stitch. In next two stitches make just one single crochet. So continue working two single crochets in every third, third stitch all the way around. So you can pause the video and meet me back again. Okay. Now we are going to use just the back loop. So you will not use stitches, just the back loop. And this is the back loop. This is the right loop where you have to insert your crochet hook in this round and make one single crochet in each back loop all the way around. Now 
I'm going to show you again where is the back loop. This is the back loop. In next round, uh, we are going to use stitches again. So use both loops and we have to decrease. So decrease on the beginning of the round. So make two single crochets together. And then make just one single crochet in the next five stitches. And in this round we have to decrease four times. So in this round decrease four times and between decrease you should have five single crochets. Okay, I have five single crochets done and now decrease again. And how I said, decrease four times in this round and you should have five stitches between decrease. So this is second decrease, then you will make five single crochets, third decrease, five single crochets, fourth decrease and five single crochets. Okay, if you want, if you want to have better shape of leg, uh, you can cut the circle from cardboard and put it in. And in next round, we will make just one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. So this is round without change, without decrease, make just one single crochet in each stitch around. Okay, in next round we have to decrease again. So decrease on the beginning of the round. And then make just one single crochet in the next four stitches. So in this round you have to decrease four times again and between uh, between decrease you will have four single crochets. In next round make just one single crochet in each stitch around. Okay, now it's time for color change and it's up to you what way of color change you will pick. So you can change the color with simple way, you will make just single crochet with uh, blue color but you will finish it with other color or you can finish the round with a slip stitch and then you will start new round with new color of yarn and with chain one and you will make one single crochet in each stitch around or you can use invisible color change then you will have perfect border, perfect line between both colors and you can watch my uh, video. I have single video for color change, invisible color change. So it will be in description of this video or in the right corner above. Okay, I am at the end of the round and now we we have to decrease again. So we are going to decrease four times in this round and in this round you should have three single crochets between decrease. So decrease four times and uh, you should have three single crochets between decrease in this round. Okay. 
and in next round make one single crochet in each stitch all the way around and we will not decrease we will not increase so make just one single crochet in each stitch all the way around and I'm going to make nine rows okay this is how it looks like you can make uh, legs longer if you want and use hollow fiber so stuff the leg firmly in the lower part and just little amount of hollow fiber use for the middle part of leg and the upper part of leg don't fill it in then just sew both sides together and use invisible stitch and sewing thread and yarn needle for sewing legs to the body and that's all from me for today so i hope you like the video you like the tutorial and i will be happy for thumb up and if you don't subscribe my channel click the subscribe button and have a lovely day bye bye